Sean, today the world is mourning the loss of Las Vegas casino mogul and prominent donor to Republican causes, Sheldon Adelson. Many of us know Adelson for his generous donations to the Republican Party. To get a sense of who Adelson was behind the headlines and massive donations, let's bring in two people who knew him personally. Let's welcome our company, the national president of the Zionist Organization of America, Mort Klein, and former senator and national chairman of the Republican Jewish Coalition, Norm Coleman. Gentlemen, welcome. Great to be Good here. To be Thank you. I just want to get a sense from you who Sheldon Adelson was behind the scenes as a person. Senator, I'll start with you. Well, first, he was embodiment of the American dream. And I have to say, just on a personal level, I, I was honored to know Sheldon. A, a really remarkable man. Uh, truly the embodiment of the American dream. I grew up with nothing in Boston. Dad was a cab driver. Uh, achieved great success and, and, gave, and, and was giving. Sheldon, by the way, on a person, he could be a very tough business guy, tough in <laughs> politics. But, but I tell you, he had a sense of humor. He had a warmth. Uh, I came down, when I came down with cancer, one of the first people to reach out to me was Sheldon Adelson, wanting to know what he could do for me. Uh, and, and, and so he's just that kind of guy. But, but there, I don't think there has been a, a greater philanthropist in the Jewish community, both the United States and Israel, than Sheldon Adelson. I mean that in history. I, I'm talking about the Rothschilds, whoever it is. There, there's no one who's compared to Sheldon Adelson. He loved America. He loved Israel. And he gave generously, not looking to put his name out there, but simply looking to do the right thing. Mort? Sheldon Adelson, I knew him for over 20 years, was the proudest American patriot and the proudest Zionist and Jew I've ever met. And not only did he give <clears throat> generously to Jewish causes and to American causes, but he gave $250 million a year for medical research to fight heart disease and cancer. People don't even know about it. He established a medical school in Israel. He gave generously to wounded warriors, our heroes, who have uh, been harmed during a battle for us. And, uh, uh, and the positions that he publicly took clearly was his deep concern that a Palestinian Arab state would be an enemy of America and a terrorist state since they pay Arabs to murder Jews and they won't negotiate for 10 years. That was one of the issues that he promoted very, very strenuously. Senator Coleman, explain to me the impact that Sheldon Adelson had on the Republican political mm -hmm. landscape and what his passing means for it. Well, for first, I want to, when we talk about Sheldon, you got to talk about Miriam, uh, because they were really partners, were partners in their political giving, partners in their philanthropy, and I expect that, you know, that to carry on, that will be Miriam's choice as to what she does, but they were partners, they did everything together. His, his impact was, was overwhelming. You know, the Dems have Bloomberg, and they have Steyer, and they have Soros, and they give to all these committees hundreds of millions of dollars and, and do various things. Sheldon put his money up front, said, here, uh, Republican House, we're going to help you with this. Uh, congressional Leadership Fund. Uh, the Senate, we're going to help with, with this. Uh, the presidency, we're going to help with this. He was up front, uh, gave more than any other donor. Uh, but again, I say a partnership, he and Mary, and, and in many ways, trying just to kind of match so that we didn't get overwhelmed by what the Bloombergs, the Stiers, the Soroses, and, and, and all the other, and the unions do on the Democrat side. So he gave us some balance. And by the way, you know, you take a look at the results, you know, this election in terms of the House. Sheldon was our, uh, certainly the major donor to Congressional Leadership Fund. Uh, but we, we uh, instead of losing 15, 20 seats, we picked up close to 13, smallest Democrat majority in, in, in since World War II. And, and Republicans will take the House back in, in 2022. And, and Sheldon Adelson will have helped that happen. So Sheldon and Miriam uh, together, unbelievable. But in many ways, just trying to balance out the overwhelming amount of resources that the D's pour into to their campaigns. Mm. Mort, you mentioned his generosity. Uh, he gave to so many causes in Israel. What impact does his passing specifically have on issues related to Israel? Well, he was an extraordinary humanitarian, as you mentioned. He continued paying full salaries to his people during this entire pandemic. Unbelievable, even though the hotels and the casinos were closed. <laughs> but he was the person who made sure that the U.S. Embassy would be moved to uh, Israel from Tel Aviv. He was of great uh, impact in that area. And we will have less support, I'm afraid, for Israel with his being gone, uh, because he was a ferocious advocate for strong U.S.-Israel relations. And that, unfortunately, will be lost. And we're going to have to try very hard to make that up. Mm. And I was there at the opening of the embassy, and Sheldon and Miriam in the front row, and they had big <laughs> smiles on their face. And and that was a very impactful, very major moment. Mm -hmm. Well, it's amazing, you know, uh, to, to, to your point, how many causes, whether it was healthcare research, <laughs> Israel, Republican <laughs> causes, he was across the board very, very generous. And uh, his, his legacy will live on, but it, he, his, you know, 
passing will be felt. I obviously, Miriam, his wife, will will live on and hopefully endure all of these causes that he supported. But thank you both for joining us uh, to reflect on such a great life lived. He was a giant of a man, Sean. We're going to miss him. Yes. All right. Thank you all for being here.